So my, my sorry, <clears throat> my name is Graham McAllister. Sorry for the voice. Um, this is a talk about uh, UUIDs. A um, number of years back, I had a developer come to me and say, "I hate UUIDs. My performance is horrible. They're just they're evil. Shouldn't use them." And I'm like, and he's like, "They're they're bigger. That must be the problem." And I said, "That doesn't seem right. Let's let's look into this." So, you know, I always tell guys, you got to understand what's going on. So. What we were seeing was, if you use a sequence, everybody in Postgres loves sequences, right? They're great. You don't have to think about them. And you get really good performance if you're just doing inserts. Works great. And this is a really long run, so this is like a 15-hour run. This is what happened when they used UUIDs. So you can, you can see why they thought they were evil, right? Because after a while, the performance was horrible. Now, you notice that if you only ran your test for the first couple minutes, you'd be like, they're fine, and that's what happened, right? So people would run their test, and they'd build the new application, they'd be like, ship it. And then the poor person running the thing, after a day, is like, my performance is horrible. What are you doing to my database? So this is you know, your basic B tree, and it's not necessarily you know, a really nice diagram or anything. But when you do an insert right of like 201, you're going over, and this is what we call right leaning. right? So it's inserting and touching blocks. So if these aren't in memory, you have to load those four blocks in. Now, if you do insert on a sequence, it's going to be that next value, 202, right? It's going to go into the, basically the same blocks. There's no need to load any more blocks. So this works quite well. Now, if you're doing a UUID, it's random, right? It's going to go everywhere. So you do 124, and it's going to you know, do four blocks again. You do 99, it's going to load an additional three blocks. And 161, again, it has to load a couple more blocks. So as your working set got bigger over time, basically your performance gets worse, right? Now, the nice thing about randomness is you don't have hotspots in your database, so this is really nice. So you see that you have you know, a problem and a solution to different things. So this is why we end up with this chart, right? So it's good to have an understanding of what's going on, because now you can think about fixing it. So what we wanted to do was imagine a constrained B tree where it wasn't quite right-leaning, and it didn't use a sequence, because there are issues with sequences. So we really wanted to say, let's keep all our inserts happening on this part of the tree that we've, we've outlined. So how do we do that? Well, we basically want to constrain the numbers that we're using, right? So we want to use like a 172 there, only four blocks, right? So now we're going to do a 199, and we're going to do another block. But then everything else will just fit in there, and we won't do any more blocks, right, for 161, for 168, and so on. So how do we do this? Well, we prefix UUIDs with dates. It's a really simple solution when you think about it. Because time moves forward, and it's right-leaning, right? And you can literally constrain how wide of the B tree you're hitting by adding more precision or less precision to your date. So. Um, this is, again, back to that graph, and then we do, essentially, we're doing a prefix by hour, right? And you can see now we've got, like, basically the little miniature version of the red happening on the green, right? And it corrects every hour, right? So, but, but because we're doing a very high write rate, if you now go to minutes as your precision, look at how we smooth that perfectly out, right? So now we have the benefits of using a sequence. So we're not dependent on our, you know, the benefits of the performance of a sequence without having the downsides of a sequence and having a really nice random value. And so this was a kind of an interesting solution from an application perspective. And what it really teaches you is that there's no really bad design of like sequence or GUIDs or UUIDs. It's about understanding how they work with your system and then possibly modifying your system or your database. So as I said, they're not bad. And it's important when you make changes to your application to understand how they affect and impact your database. So that's the talk. Thank you.